Hello everyone, I'm going to go over how to download the Google Drive for desktop. Uh, this is going to be replacing the Google Backup and Sync. Uh, it'll go into full effect around October. Google has notified us of this. So we're going to go ahead and push out a video so you can go ahead and download the new uh, way to back up your laptop and desktop computer. So what you'll do is in your web browser, you're just going to Google search something like a uh, Google Drive desktop. You'll click the first link and it'll take you to the Google Drive download page. So what you'll do is you'll click on the blue tab here that says download drive for desktop and it's a fairly large download. It's going to take a couple of minutes to fully download um, this. So the reason we are wanting you to go ahead and do this process now is so that come October your device will not all of a sudden stop syncing. Uh, if you give yourself time to do it now, then that can save you from losing a ton of documents later on. So uh, as soon as you have time to watch this, go through these steps and download onto your device. Uh, just go ahead and give you a warning. Uh, several times it's going to ask you to go into your security settings and make some changes, but just follow the on-screen directions and it could ask you to restart your computer during the process. I went ahead and did that beforehand so I could record the whole thing without any interruptions. So once it's finished downloading, you'll just click the download file and you'll get a pop-up of it's going to go to the internet, verify that it's an actual document, and then it'll start the installation process. So the way this is different from Backup and Sync is Backup and Sync did not have an actual desktop icon, but instead it was right up here. So with this, you actually can get both in the same place. The desktop app gives you quick access to all of your Google files, and then the, uh, the button that will embed up here, I'll go over later, is where you can change your settings and see what is currently syncing. So once it's finished that, you will download the package, which will open up the installer. Go through the setup here. It'll start actually downloading onto your device. Again, it, it may take a moment to do this. Um, while it does this, after you finish it, and it should show in just, just a second, uh, it will automatically delete itself, so you don't have to. Uh, when you hit close, you'll get the pop-up to move it to trash. So it gets rid of the unwanted file. And at this point, you should be able to close your web browser, go into your launch pad or finder, scroll over, and you'll see it has added several new applications. So you'll see Google Drive, Google Sheets, Google Doc, and Google Slides. All of those are now apps on your device. So you no longer actually have to go to the uh, web browser itself. So I'm going to click Google Drive. It's going to take it a moment to open. I'm going to ignore getting notifications. And you'll see it's popped up here. So whenever you do it, it's going to go through several things asking you uh, what files you want to sync. I suggest syncing your desktop and your documents folder. That way you know everything uh, that you want on your device is coming through. So what you'll do is, again, up here in the very top, you'll click that and you're going to click the gear icon. Then you're going to click preferences. So here is if you were to skip all the installation stuff, you're going to come to this page and you could go to add folder and you can choose what folder on your device that you want added and to be saved. Uh, I select my desktop and my documents folder. That way I know for sure everything is backed up. Um, a lot of times, if I don't want a lot of the extra clutter, I'll just do just my desktop. And you can select desktop and then hit open. And then it will only pull from what's on your desktop. So from there, you can. the most important part of this is to click Google Drive folders from Drive. So you'll see here, you have two options here. This is what I want you to focus on. The first one is the stream files and the second is the mirror, mirror files. The stream files is what you want selected. It is chosen by default, so you shouldn't have to worry about that, but you want to make sure 
that that is selected. The reason is that that way all of your documents are going to the drive in the cloud and not eating up storage space. If you were to click this button, everything in your Google Drive will be downloaded to the device. If you saw, it might pull it up, yeah, I have 140 gigabytes of information in my Google Drive. If I were to hit that button, all 140 gigabytes will all of a sudden download to this laptop. So I will have every document on all my devices syncing to this device. Having such a large amount of storage like that depends on what your storage is uh, for your device. Most likely, you're not going to have enough storage to save your Google, your entire Google Drive to your device. If it were to do that, you're going to experience a uh, slowdown of speed. The device itself will slow down significantly uh, because it's had in the process a lot of documents. It doesn't have the storage space it needs to properly function. Uh, so please make sure you're streaming your files uh, to avoid that uh, headache and hassle. So then if you click on like the desktop icon, you'll see your entire Google Drive is in front of you. If you have a shared drive with someone or someone has shared a drive with you, you can click that folder and it'll be there. You also see your other devices. You can see my iMac is here. So every every document in my iMac I now have access to because it's all synced through my uh, Google Drive. So you need to make sure not only you're doing this on your laptop, but you're also doing it on your desktop if you're still using one. Uh, that way everything will sync together and when we pull the desktops come next summer, everything will be in your drive exactly where you wanted it. Then uh, you see my drive. This is stuff I've saved directly to the drive. So please take this time. And also when you're installing, it's going to ask that once this has completely downloaded, that you delete the sync. It'll automatically do it for you. You just have to hit OK. Uh, so I hope this helps you uh, download and transition from Backup and Sync to the Google Drive desktop app. And hopefully this will help streamline all of the Google operations you use. Thank you.